Shalom, 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 alaikum, Yashara. Hey to the 12 tribes that are not lost, but scattered. And hey to the Gentiles that are following after Yah's righteousness. I'm King Brittany Chanel. A king is a descendant and a ruler of a divine people. That divine people being Yashara, the children of the Most High Yah. Hey, welcome to another video. Hey, Gentiles, also that are following after Yah's righteousness. All right. So we've been talking about in the last video, I've been trying to help our brothers out, our brethrens out, okay, on um, the vetting process on what determines a good wife. The reason why we have to talk about these things in our culture is because the Most High Yah is going to renew and restore our culture meaning that we're going to get back to our original heritage and the things that we were doing that were pleasing to Yah. One of those things was marrying and uh, marrying, not only just marrying, but marrying within our own culture, within our own people. It was a huge importance of that. And um, I'm going to tell you why today in this video. But the reason why I have to tell you about it is because I've been seeing a lot of videos you guys have been talking to me about. Some of y'all write to me on IG, on King Brittany Chanel. You talk to me about the Passport Bros. Because you guys know that on my main channel, I would talk about the Passport Bros. I would talk about Kevin Samuels, that sort of thing. So basically, you all wanted to know what my opinion was on the sudden, you know, up out of here or uh, not they going on basically a lot of our brethren our brothers are going on to the glory early what does that mean right i told y'all the number one thing is marriage is an institution that is of elohim it is honorable when you do it you have to do it the correct way okay there is a correct way to doing it okay if you are yasharalite you know we don't do babylonian customs our marriages are a little bit different than what babylon considers as what is you know married okay but i want to tell you i believe that those brothers that are passport bros they're encountering the spirit of delilah they're encountering the spirit of jezebel that strange woman spirit and we're going to talk about that today now let me set the framework y'all the framework the foundation because we have to talk about the foundation. Let me give let me give a little housekeeping. I am not here to offend. I am not here um, to spread any harm or hate to anybody. I'm not a part of any uh, so-called Black Hebrew Israelite camps. Okay? I am a Yasharelite. That means I'm a Northeast African West Asian. Okay? Um, a descendant of the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of the Torah, the Bible, okay? All right? So with that being said, my thought process is going to be from a Hebraic thought process. Um, the Most High scattered our people. We lost our heritage. You might go by the so-called Blacks, the Negroes, African Americans. We were scattered into slavery due to idolatry and due to vanity, okay? Okay? The sin of idolatry um, and perversions and things is why we were scattered to the four corners of the earth, okay? You can find our people in America. You can find our people in the UK. You can find our people uh, on the islands. You can find our people in Africa, Ifrati, okay? You can find our people all over the globe, South America, where y'all at? We're all over the globe because the Most High scattered us, Okay? A part of the curses is that we would lose our heritage. So we're going to be doing these videos because the father is waking his people up. Okay. He's giving us back our name. He's showing us who we are. That is why I make these videos. Okay. So a part of that is recognizing that certain things that you experience or there's certain curses that's attached by being disobedient to the most high. Read Deuteronomy 28 and it lists the blessings and the curses, okay? Um, one of those things that we were commanded never to do, not to do, is to intermingle or intermarry, okay? 
culturally. Unfortunately, in captivity, this is something that happened that was a lot of the times forced on us and different things like that. And then some people, some people are willing participants, willing participants today. Now, I want to make it very clear that the Most High is not some mean uh, R A C I S T. Okay. He's not telling you these things because he's telling you to go out and be mean to other people and the rest of that. That's not what this is about. He gives you rules and regulations for everything. His instructions are very clear and that's to preserve you from things. Okay. Like when he tells you don't have, you know, relations before marriage, that's to preserve you from, um, being in a fallen state from sin, from stuff happening to you. Right. It's to keep you from things that are harmful to you. That's what a father or your parent guardian would do, right? You're going to try to tell your kids things, not because you're being the big bad wolf, but to prevent them from things. Now, let me let me tell you how this intermingles and how it coincides with the passport bros. You might, what, what do that have to do with the passport bros, the spirit of Delilah and Jezebel, right? The foundation and framework. The first sin that got man, well not man, Hasatan, thrown out of the Shamayim was pride. Pride and vanity go hand in hand. This is why I talk about modesty on this channel because modesty is the fleeing away from vanity, right? Vanity comes with idolatry. Vanity comes with pride and you wanting to be God-like and trying to put yourself in a seat that you will never have, which is you're trying to equate yourself with Elohim instead of being a child of Elohim and following his instructions and being obedient, okay? So, what happened, right? Hasatan, the serpent, convinced Grandmother Chawa in the garden that, oh, you can be like God. Why, you know, why is he keeping all this wisdom from you, right? This is how he, this is how he, he convinced the woman that she needed more, right? So, this is the sin, the sin of the sin of Hasatan is to mess with the creation of Abaya, right? Yah made his creation. He said, and his creation was good. His creation was good in his eyes as is. Did he say add anything? Did he say subtract anything? It was good as is. But the problem... We're in the world... The problem that a lot of us have is that we try to play the role of Elohim. We try to get in that God seat and that will get you messed up, okay? So how is, you're like, well, what would this perversion have to do with intermarrying and, and things like that, right? Let's get into it. What was the, what was the next sin that got Yah's, the sons of Elohim? When I say the sons of Elohim, I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about the angels, right? The fallen ones that followed Hasatan. And they came and they came to man and they introduced things like makeup, root cuttings, alchemy, um, war. All of these things that perverted the creation of the most high, right? So let, let me say facts. You know, a lot of people say... You know, oh, we're all children of God. The Most High Yah is the creator and the supreme ruler of the universe. He, he, yes, that is very much correct that he created everything. However, we are not all children of God, okay? Yah has creations and his creations have free will. And with that being said, I told you that the original sin was how Satan wanted to be God, meaning in his pursuit to want to be like the most high, he attempted in his anger because he was punished to pervert the creation, right? To get it off course. Abaya said it was good. So now how Satan to spite Abaya wants to pervert the creation. Hence whispering with being a whisper mouth in the, in the ear of Eve. Hence, the fallen, the sons of Elohim, the fallen angels, right? That were originally sons of Elohim. They were in the divine state. They decided to introduce corruption to mankind. And it had Abayah 
with wrath. They were so messed up, they sent Enoch to ask if the Most High would pardon him. The father said, no, they are done, right? Don't come over here. Don't you even move a little toe in this direction to ask me. And he like, can you imagine this? I got angels coming to get a human to intercede for them because they have fallen, right? They're supposed to be here to help mankind. Instead, they were corrupting mankind. The father put them away, said no, right? So in that, there were creations that were born in those creations. Hence why when you hear Yehoshua say, you know, your father was a, 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 a murderer from the beginning, okay? You are, basically when he told those group of people, you are of your father, the, the devil, okay? So there were groups of people that were practicing um, the works of their father, the devil, okay? We're not naming out specific people, but they were particip in participation of things that were not pleasing to the most high. These things were introduced to some of these um, people groups due to the fallen ones, right? And they were in participation and they kept on doing these things and it was not pleasing to the father. So much so the father was like, uh-uh, Yasharal, these are, these are the laws, statutes, and commandments for you, right? I made a covenant with your forefathers forever. You follow these ways. Do not depart from these ways. If you depart from these ways, these are the curses that are attached, right? So basically, examples of this in the Torah because a lot of people are saying, well, where um, does it say that we're not supposed to be marrying um, these other cultures of people? Where does it say that? And it's not saying that because it is saying anybody is the higher or the lesser or the stupid stuff that people come up with. It was because Abba wanted to preserve, number one, the inheritance of Yasharal. So we can find this information, examples of this. In the book of Tobit, where Tobit was told to take a wife, that wife being Sarah. Um, and it's several, it's several different examples, but they were commanded. Even um Edom, his parents were not not Edom, Esau. His parents were not pleased because he was taking on strange woman. And it wasn't, it didn't have anything to do with tone or anything like that strange woman with strange cultural practices okay even the most high got um very upset with solomon because solomon committed whoredoms and fornication because he began marrying all these other women and they had other cultures that were pagan practicing cultures not followers of yashara and what ends up happening is it leads your heart in vanity because you're like oh man like you know these you, these people are attractive and he said do not learn the ways of the heathen do not learn the ways of the heathen do not try to take on the ways of the heathen but i mean you gotta leave it to yasharal if you look at our people the so-called black the so-called negro the so-called african-americans they tap dance harder than any i'm talking about they got a tradition, honey, that, 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 um, so-called Negro black is going to outdo them at their own traditions. And this is what is displeasing to the father. And it caught, it comes with curses. So let's talk about an example of this, right? Let's talk about Samson and Delilah. Boom. Now we're here. We're here, y'all. We're here. The father had Samson on a mission samson was strong in might okay the most high gave him power right when we are in the will of the father we exist and we walk in power we have power to tread upon serpents and scorpions when we're doing the will of the father right we're walking in our inheritance but when we do it our way we fall so listen Samson is a prime example of Yashara and their whoredom, right? 
Samson, because he could not overcome vanity, he could not overcome lust, and he had a lust for those Delilahs and strange women. This is how this is going to intersect to this uh, passport bro stuff, right? Samson was a Yasharite, a Nazarite to be exact, where the Most High had anointed him from birth to be um, someone that was going to be able to like help free his people from the oppression of his enemies, right? The Philistines, aka a form of Canaanite, right? We were commanded to not intermingle with the Canaanites because they were committing all kind of abominable acts, okay? Under no circumstances. So what happened is Samson, his parents wanted him to marry someone of his own culture. Why? For inheritance purposes, because we know that, you know, marriage... Um, is not only about love, it's about divine duty. So basically, Samson, he was in love with the strange woman. The first example was he got mad that his first wife, I guess, was given to another man and she was a strange woman anyway. And so, and you know, instead of him being like, you know, let me get on track and marry a Yasharalite wife. No, he wanted to like uh, many of our young men today, say he wanted to take on a strange woman. So Samson basically started a beef with the foreign people that he was around and basically causing problems for himself, right? So what did they do to bring Samson down? They paid a Delilah, a Delilah. They were able to see that Samson had a lust problem. Samson had low self-esteem, low cultural esteem. And they sent that Jezebel spirit, which is always, which is a foreign woman, a foreign entity in to bring Samson down. What happens to the men of our community, daughters of Zion, when you see them and they always, they partake of the forbidden fruit, they partake of what the Most High said, do not bring that woman into the congregation. Do not bring her into the congregation. They bring her into the congregation again. Remember the Levites. Remember that. The Levites had the Levite, the one that the Most High blessed because he jumped up and threw the javelin through the chest of the Yasharelite because he was with um, a foreign enemy that the Most High said, do not bring that person in the camp. The Most High was doing this stuff because i said how satan wanted to pervert the creation so he wanted to do things like perverting the bloodline introducing demon seed um in in mankind right so yah made mankind or man and how satan and the fallen ones decided they were going to marry the daughters of man they looked upon the daughters of man they felt like they were fair and they married these women they had you know relations and they had creations they made creations um and hence why the flood happened and the ones that survived the ones that survived um you you see some of these people um who have demonic spirits today you have to ask yourself uh are you of your father okay you have to ask yourself that now getting back to it so y'all are asking me, why are these passport bros that are seem to be Yasharelite, right? They're going overseas and they're looking for that Delilah, right? So these other people overseas. Now, let me, let me, let me say facts, right? There are people overseas or worldwide of all cultures, creed, and class. And all that, some of these people are not out to get people, okay? They're just living their life, living their everyday life. But there are some people that are preying on the low cultural esteem of the Yasharelite men that are going overseas, that are saying that they're going to get wives and they're really going to um, commit whoredoms, basically. They they want to fornicate. They want to do all of these things that the Most High told them not to do, right? 
Um, and they can talk about women all day. The Most High told you to take a wife of your own culture and to get married. And they're what they're doing is they're fornicating. They're making baby mamas, which means that they are prostituting the daughters of Zion. Because when you go into a woman without the intentions of marrying her, you have now made that woman in a fallen state. She's in a humble state. And the father is now upset with you because now you are considered according to the scriptures a whoremonger male so now they're going overseas some of them to do all kind of abominable stuff right because there's even an element that i i am side eyeing where they're even going after very 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 young uh women not even women young um young ladies i would say but you know what i mean Okay, so you have that element because there's some weirdos and they're using, this is why the Most High says that those rich people that exploit the, excuse me, that exploit the poor, it's going to be hard for them to see the Shamayim because if you're doing wickedness with wealth, right? So let's say you're going to these third world countries and the Father has you in America and you're able to eat and you're able to make a way and then you're going over to places that are third world countries that may be impoverished to exploit you this is why you see these men dropping like flies by the spirit of delilah dropping like flies right that spirit of delilah so these other people that um you know when they're going over there that they're not going over there you know, to experience the, the culture, the food, the travel, you know, um, to do normal stuff. They're going over there to fornicate and commit whoredoms. So these people that are seeing their low cultural esteem, they're seeing the disrespect that they don't have um, respect for themselves because they don't do the will of the Most High. They don't create the nuclear family like the Most High told them to. They don't get married. They don't get focused. And they go over and they want to be party boy, party yaddy yaddy. And they go on over and they're falling by the, the sword. They're falling by the sword, okay? They're getting milly rocked on every block, okay? So, these people that are criminals in these other countries, they're like, hmm, we're going to send these Delilahs at them, right? We know that Samson, Samson has a lust for the foreign woman because they honestly they these people know the laws statutes and commandments right this is how hasatan is the accuser of the brethren when he goes to accuse you and uh in the, in the shamayim right in the court of heaven when he goes to accuse you he tempts you fall for the temptation and then now he has a charge that he can put forth right so samson it's supposed to be built up to be a protector in his community. His parents want him to follow the will of Yah. He totally goes against that. He trusts a Delilah, that foreign woman, that foreign strange woman. He's pillow talking, right? Look at a lot of them pillow talking. Oh, you know the, the Yashara like woman, the black woman ain't this, she not this, and this thick up, pop, 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 pop showing his weakness to the world showing his his intimacy to the world right you never tell about the do, do you hear um countries talking about their weaknesses to other countries or are they figuring out ways to build up their house right this is why the father says some of y'all men take on that strange woman spirit that jezebel spirit right it says a wise woman builds her house and a foolish one tears her own house down with her bare hands some of y'all have the Jezebel and strange woman spirit and y'all are men. Okay. When people are demonically possessed, they don't care whether it's a man or a woman. Whoever got an open um, door for them to use. So these men, they're going over their pillow talking. Their vulnerabilities are shown to the world. They, the enemy knows that they're not doing the will of the father and i'm gonna pay delilah a couple of silver shekels and 
he's up out of here. Samson is up out of here, gouging out his eyesight. Because that means the, the gouging out of Samson's eyesight is the spiritual implication that because you are spiritually blind, you take your tail over to these places. You don't consider any of the dangers. They hitting you with that scope, if you know what I mean. And you just foolishly doing stuff that you wouldn't even be doing in the United States. For Jezebel and Delilah. Honey, they painting up their face. They got their BBL popping. They got their chest popping. Honey, they are are, are are daughters and harlots. You talking about you running to escape Babylon in the Babylon, honey. Babylon just ain't a physical place. Babylon is whoever wants to replicate that perverted image of the beast. Y'all running around talking about you're trying to get wives with your vision knocked out. And you're running around going after harlots, Delilah's. Who are lying next to you and then you get up and all your stuff is gone. Or if you even get up at all. That is the passport rose. These men are, y'all sure, you notice a lot of them. They done showed African men. They done showed African American men. So-called black men. You're going up over there thinking that you're getting some low. hot ta 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 And they've taken all your stuff. And if some of y'all are even getting up. Okay, and I, we, we talking about Gentiles, y'all too. Come on, come on, come on. If you are following after the Most High God, now let me explain what a Gentile is very quickly. A Gentile, there's two definitions of a Gentile. A Gentile is a stranger to the Most High, basically meaning that anybody who he did not make a covenant with, right? Where you may have come from a culture where you y'all didn't have the covenant with the Most High. But now that you're privy to the Most High, you must cleave to Yasharal and follow the ways of Yasharal, the, the ways that the father gave in the law, statutes, and commandments that was given to Yasharal, right? Meaning that y'all stay clean, you stay pure, don't bring all that pagan stuff into the camp or you got to get put out, okay? You got to forsake the ways of your ancestors, repent for the sins of your ancestors, right? Okay? You forgive yourself, forgive and... um. Let go of all of that, that the, the foolish social construct of, uh, you know, supremacy and stuff that y'all deal with. OK, also Gentile could mean um, Yasharelites that were Hellenized, meaning, um, you know, the, the strange ways forced upon them due to Hellenization and that sort of thing like that. OK, like think about the Spanish Inquisition and um, just forced conversions. OK. To other religions and stuff that were not the ways of Israel, okay. And I'm talking about the Yasharalites in the Bible, okay. Um, yeah, but that is what I think is going on with the passport bros. They are Samson. Samson, his might was taken down because he was really spiritually blind. That's why they went for the eyes to gouge it out. And then he he had to end up repenting. And he was like, Father, one last time. Come on, like, let me let me have my strength back one last time. Because he got distracted from the will of the Most High. The Father sent him on a mission. And the, here's, the, here's the big thing with this. Sometimes you're thinking that when you're doing these things, that you're, you know, you're being progressive or you 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 can be diplomatic and sometimes you you cannot do the will of the father and you're compromising for the world standard because sometimes you may have to offend to do the will of the father okay sometimes you you may not be able to give that apology 